Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use your Microtik router to get internet access from another router. So this is what we are going to configure today. This router on this side has internet access and what we are going to do, we are going to configure another router to get internet um, via wireless from this router. So let us head over to Winbox and start configuring. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Quickset because this is the easiest way to configure this. So click on Quickset and uh, ensure that the option CPE is selected. And what you're going to do is to look for the wireless um, network that you want to connect to. But before doing that, ensure that based on the router that you're using ensure that um, you're on BGN if your router has N ensure that it's selected and also for the channel width use 20 slash 40 CE and that will give you the maximum throughput possible for the connection and also your country you should just select your your country so now you need to look for the wireless network that you want to connect to so this is the network I'm going to connect to and I'm going to put in the password for this and click connect and if the password is correct you should be connected alright so now I'm connected to this network and this gives me the basic information about the connection now I'm going to head over to this section and choose the mode so the modes there are two modes router and bridge so the router mode is typically how, you route, how your router would normally be if where it issues the IP address to the clients while in bridge mode the clients will get IP address directly from the wireless network that you are connected to so it depends on your situation you can configure that way but for this tutorial I'm just going to use the router um, option so for the wireless network usually you'd select automatic because most persons are using DHCP so you select automatic if not you can use static and put in the information for the upload and download um, I'm not putting any restriction on this but you can if you need to for the local network, I'm going to use 192.168. Say, I'm going to use about 188.1, and I'm going to use a slash 24 network, and I'm going to enable DHCP server. And in this section for the range, I'm going to put in a range. So I can, I'm going to start a range from 100 to say 200, and for NAT, choose NAT and bridge all LAN port. Check that and then click apply. Now I'm going to reconnect. Let me just address my, address my screen. All right. So I'm reconnected now. So let us look at DHCP server so we have a DHCP server configured and if you look at wireless the wireless network is connected connected to this network and uh, you realize that it is using the mode that is in a station bridge usually if you had an access point it would be AP bridge but in this mode that it is running in it is station bridge um, also you could go ahead and create a virtual wireless network and what this does is that you can also get internet access wirelessly from your device also for your clients so what I'm going to do I'm just going to create um, call this one test and for the security profile you can choose the security profile hit apply okay and then now for the bridge I'm going to add so there's currently one bridge so what I'm going to do is in ports I'm going to add the ports 
the, the virtual network, this is WLAN 2. I'm going to add it to the bridge. So now, persons who connected to the test network will also get an IP address from your DHCP server. And those user users would also have access to the internet. So now, so what we have configured now is that the clients on this side will get internet from this router. So that is how you configure your router to get internet access from another router. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.